That wasn't good. <coughs> mm. da, 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 da. Okay. Hey guys, Anthony Simland here, and you're joining me for another GTA 5 video. I'm looking on the uh, Southern San Andreas Autos website, and these two cars, they tripped me up when I was uh, a lower level, and they may trip you up as well, because for some strange reason, there is a $61,000 price gap between these two models. And, to be fair, looking at them, there doesn't seem like there should be any reason for that kind of price gap. I mean, stylistically, I mean, you've got very very strong, aggressive lines on this car, which is not too bad, it looks good. The wheels are not too bad either. Nice looking alloys. Over here, we've got some, well, we've got some extra vents and a slightly dodgy looking hood. Uh, for some strange reason, it's two-tone, um, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, the headlights, are, I do mean, they look meaner, I guess. The front of the car looks more aggressive. 
so I, I guess 61,000 though? No, I don't think so. So having a, a delve into this uh, based on uh, a little bit of research, apparently these two cars are based on the uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, we're talking probably 5th, 6th generation Camaro, re released around about the 2010s. Um, this one in particular, uh, just this one here, this grey one. Uh, it was. It, it looks nice. I mean, Australia final uh, finalised the design for the engineering and, and um, development of the Camaro. Um, however, it was quite a powerful car, considering it only cost thirty five thousand. Um, it was powered by three point six litre uh, or a two point twenty cubic inch uh, V six, uh, which was producing about one hundred uh, three hundred and twelve. Uh, brake horsepower, which is a, a lot of grunt for your money. Uh, whereas the uh, the sports over here, uh, get the camera. I will get the cameras right. Don't worry, guys. There we go. Uh, this one was uh, powered by a six-speed automatic, 6.2 liter or a 376 cubic inch uh, engine. I mean, it was a V8. Uh, it was the LS3 V8, uh, 426 brake horsepower. 426 so that's there's not much difference i mean it's just over 100 horsepower but for 61 grand let's have a look on the interior anyway uh as you can see it sounds nice it looks nice but on the inside apart from the roll cage i've done nothing to this um up to the interior it is quite literally just the roll cage which set me back um, a fair chunk in this car because obviously it is the sports version of that one everything was a lot more expensive so I couldn't uh, mod this um, as much as I wanted to set myself uh, a 50 grand budget for each car so you guys are on the lower levels at the minute this one uh, 96 plus 50 that's 146 if my mass is right thousand uh, dollars for, for this car and in all fairness the interior looks a bit cheap. Uh, you get a cup holder, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It looks mean. I do like it. I haven't changed much because I couldn't. Cause everything was really costly. Whereas this one, I managed to change pretty much everything on this car. Even managed to put in tinted window, uh, tinted windows. There we go. Uh, as you can see, the interior it's exactly the same. So it doesn't have a roll cage though. That's the only difference but uh, yeah the interior is exactly the same so you're not really paying for interior either right so that only leaves us to test it for performance so let's take these out on the track my jobs races top gear assault track now this track is based on the top gear ish a little from the UK series but I've added a little extra just to give um, well, more diversity and more rigorous testing of the cars because I didn't want exactly the same cars. I didn't want the Hammerhead or um, Gambon or anything like that or the follow through. There are elements of them in here, but they're not uh, not necessary. Right, change it to sports. Uh, don't worry about any of that because it's just going to be a one lap race uh, I'm just going to play on my own, there we go I am on my own today, um, whenever I do this thing in the future I will have Virtual Battlefield with me uh, he's celebrating uh, Thanksgiving so uh, to all of you in America who are celebrating Thanksgiving I do wish you a happy Thanksgiving day to be with family so if you're watching this today on Thanksgiving, I appreciate your time. Let's see what type of time we really pull off with this car then. So my aim is for this to be quicker than the other one. For it to be better off you purchasing this one. There we go, got the boost. And already up to 60 miles an hour. 70. Coming up to 80 for the first top corner. Coming up to 90 miles an hour. Okay. Right. Okay, we're going to go left and follow it round. Uh, okay, bring it in. 
in and back out. And slip it in. We'll cut the corner a little bit there. Um, this is going to be the regular track for when I do future videos kind of like this. Uh, kind of like my own little version of Top Gear. Um, so if you think of any interesting names, please post them in the comments for some of the corners. Here we go. We're going to go through some tyres. Bring it in. Nice. The engine doesn't seem to roar. It seems to be holding fairly steady at 100 miles an hour. I'm not really doing much braking here, but there we go. That was that was quite good handling for this car. I really enjoyed that. And around here, this is a quick turnaround. There we go. And then back up through here onto the main straight for the final corner. And what time did we bring that in at? Obviously first, 140.167, that's not too bad. So we've got 1 minute 40 seconds to beat in the sports. Right, okay, <laughs> this should be fun. Uh, yeah. Extra points replay. We'll do it with the uh, the sports version now. So, what do I want to happen here? I want to have a slower time in this car. Right down to that sports. There we go. Change nothing. There we go. The only thing I'm changing is the car. So yeah, I want this one to be a little bit slower because it needs to be more beneficial for the other one to be purchased. As we can see, there's no change in the stats whatsoever, which really sucks for the extra 61,000 you need to purchase for this car. You need to get something other than just a pretty noise and a pretty evil look and a roll cage. I mean, 61,000 to low ranks, that is a lot of money. Okay, here we go. And we're pushing 80. Already we I feel that we're a little bit behind because we were at 90 when we went through that marker on the on the last one. It does sound meaner, I have to admit. Cut across. Back end's a little Twitchy. It holds its position on the road pretty well. It takes a lot to really worry the suspension. I mean, it's handling it really well. I mean, that turn. Whew. Do you know what? This might actually be quicker, but is it quicker by an amount that would make it worth $61,000? I have no idea. And coming around to the quick turnaround. Oh god, there we go. Back through. So 1 minute 40.16 to beat. As we come up to the last corner. And how did we come in? Well, obviously first, but time. 140.09. Now that's interesting. It's slower, but minutely. Right, okay, that, that is an interesting result. I'm quite intrigued by that. So, wow. That was insane. 
I, I, I did not expect that at all. Wow. So, there we have it. I mean, the evidence is right there. You, I mean, is it really worth $61,000? I mean, I didn't. I spent $50,000 on each car, modding them up. Uh, the standard Bravado Buffalo. Um, I managed to get quite a lot done. Um, like engine three upgrade. Um, a lot of the suspension, obviously a lot of aesthetic things as well, such as the spoiler skirts, bumpers, grill as well. Uh, as for the, the, the sports, I didn't get that much done. So it was only one engine upgrade and it was the first one. It had no major beneficial mods added to it really because it was so costly. So I leave it to you for the comments. Let me know what you prefer. Me personally, I would prefer the standard Buffalo. Get some money, mod it up as much as possible, do loads of races, win loads of money, and then yeah, you've got a car that's just better and you don't need to spend the 61,000 extra. You really don't, not worth it whatsoever. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, the handlings, the, 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 there is different handling for each car. Uh, I, I feel the, the first one, the standard Bravado handles so much better. Um, the, the, the back one, it really does struggle to put that, that power down to the floor. Um, so you just end up stood there, well sat there, spinning your wheels and you're getting left in the dust. The other one is a little bit quicker off the mark, especially if you hold it mid revs as well. You really get through them early gears pretty quickly and get up to speed. So that's going to be it for the today guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm getting shot. So I will leave it here and I will see you next time. Bye for now guys.